Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how I use Bing Chat as a prompt generator for Midjourney V5 to get images like these. As you can see they look pretty amazing. And I had Bing Chat give me a helping hand to get them. But first I'll start by explaining why I prefer Bing Chat over ChatGPT, another popular chatbot for generating prompts for Midjourney V5. You may have heard that ChatGPT can assist you with a variety of tasks such as Midjourney prompt generation. There are, however, some significant differences between Bing Chat and ChatGPT that make Bing Chat a better choice for this purpose. First and foremost, Bing Chat is up to date and contains information on Midjourney v5. This means that it can provide you with accurate and relevant suggestions and feedback based on the most recent Midjourney v5 version. It can also search the web for current information or sources that may inspire or inform you about your prompt topic. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is limited to information until 2021. This means it is not familiar with Midjourney v5 or its features, so prompt generation becomes impossible without a lot of training you need to give the bot. Sign up for the preview at bing.com slash new or through the Bing app. It's completely free to use and very simple to set up. I will leave a link on the description area of this video for you to try it. Now I'll show you some examples of images generated by Midjourney v5 with different prompts, and how Bing Chat can help you come up with creative prompts that will get you better results. Superhero cartoons, fantasy anime, and landscape paintings are easily within grasp. This incredible Midjourney V5 image was generated with this prompt. For the more photorealistic images you will need more descriptive and complex prompts. But how did we get here? How did Midjourney do with its previous versions? How do the images compare? Let's take a look. As you can see on the screen, I have a comparison between the output from Midjourney V3, V4, and V5 with the same prompt. A muscular barbarian with weapons beside a CRT television set, cinematic, 8K, studio lighting. You can see how much more detail and realism the image has with V5. Everything looks more natural and convincing, including the skin texture, hair, lighting, and shadows. Even the hands appear to be better than before. Midjourney's previous versions struggled with things like hands and teeth, so the improvements in V5 are greatly appreciated. Take a look at how lifelike this image is. The facial features, skin tone, and hair all appear to be very natural and authentic. Midjourney V5 is a powerful tool for creating stunning images from text descriptions, as you can see, and it works better with more fluent description prompts because it can interpret them more precisely and produce more realistic output images. For example, instead of using two-word prompts, it is better to use longer, more specific prompts that describe the scene, mood, style, or perspective of the desired image. Midjourney V5 can then use its expanded stylistic range and improved image quality to create stunning visuals. It also supports camera detail settings and lens parameters that can improve your image generation. These settings can help you create more realistic and artistic images by simulating different camera effects. But how do you come up with good prompts that will produce the best results? That's where Bing Chat comes in. This advanced AI-powered chatbot can assist you in creating detailed, descriptive Midjourney V5 prompts. Let me demonstrate how it works. To begin, set the Bing conversation style to creative for the best results, and then prime Bing chat so the conversation is perceived by the bot as a method of generating Midjourney prompts. So let's put this to the test in real time to see how it works. First, I copy and paste this paragraph into Bing which has previously proven to provide excellent mid-journey prompt results. I will leave the paragraph below on the description so you can do the same. If you get this type of response, it means that Bing is now tuned for prompt generation for mid-journey v5. Otherwise, you will have to reload your browser and try again, but it works well almost every time. For my first prompt I will try a unicorn with wings flying in a magical forest to create an image with a fantastical and imaginative theme. 
After a few seconds, Bing will generate the prompt you requested, which you will use to create your image in mid-journey. Additionally, because the initial priming paragraph included the mid-journey argument for using the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and version v5, this will appear in all Bing generated prompts during this chat session. At this point, you can copy the prompt from Bing and paste it into Discord to begin creating your unicorn image. Before you paste your prompt, enter a forward slash and then select the Imagine button from the list. Now let's see what Midjourney comes up with. It will take a bit for it to generate the images. And here we go we have some results. As usual, not all of the images produced by Midjourney are suitable for upscaling or being used, but I'll try to pick the best one so we can examine the final result in more detail. In this case, images 2 and 4 look good, but I think image 4 is my favorite, so let's enlarge it by clicking on the U4 button. There is a lot of color in this image, and the unicorn appears to be anatomically correct. We can see butterflies, flowers, and the bright sun in the background, which is pretty good. Now let's try a different prompt, this time for a haunted house at night with stormy skies to create images with a scary and suspenseful theme. Because Bing is an advanced chatbot, it will be able to understand the context of the conversation, so you won't need to write as much information as you did on the first prompt for it to know what you're looking for as you go along. Let's copy paste this one into Discord and see what we get this time. There were a lot of image requests for this prompt, so let's see how many Midjourney gets right. Now let's enlarge the pictures. I believe this one turned out quite well. Most of what was requested is visible in all four images. However, image number two is probably the one that gets it the closest, I can make out the bats and the lightning, and the image's general layout matches what I had been visualizing in my head. In my opinion, that is nearly perfect. What do you think? Now we can try something a bit more fun. A pig wearing sunglasses and a hat on a tropical beach to create a humorous theme. Sometimes it appears that Bing Chat can capture the humor you are attempting to convey in order to generate prompts, this is one of those instances. Let's copy and paste to see if Midjourney can do the same thing by creating a fun and interesting image of this pig relaxing on the beach. Those are definitely pigs on a beach, but we need to take a closer look to see which one is the best for upscaling. The first one appears to be holding a rather large pair of glasses, which is unusual. The following two are pretty good, and the fourth one is also nice but there's something strange on the pig's snout, so I think number two is the best in this case. Let's zoom in to see in detail image two. Yes, this is accurate and quite amusing. It even shows a cocktail near the pig's foot, as requested in the prompt. I'd give this one four and a half stars. Let's try something a little more abstract as a final example of a generic mid-journey prompt, such as a colorful fire swirly pattern for a creative theme. You can really get around the creator's block by using Bing Chat. Even if the bot does not produce exactly what you want, you can use its prompts as inspiration for your own creations. One more copy and paste and let's see how this more random one turns out. I'm expecting a lot of color and visual impact. From a distance, all four images appear similar, but when zoomed in, I believe at least one or two of them stand out. I particularly like the first and third images, but the pattern on the first one catches my eye more, so that's the one I'm going to upscale. That would make an excellent desktop wallpaper. Those were already impressive results, but I discovered that Bing Chat can excel at photorealistic image generation because it can provide photo camera specifications for the ultra-realistic style of images that Midjourney V5 can achieve. To accomplish this, we will prime the chatbot with this phrase. Again, I'll leave the paragraph below in the video description so you can try it for yourself. 
If the bot responds positively here as well, you know it is ready to generate the camera detailed prompts for the ultra-realistic images you want with Midjourney V5. So, let's ask Bing to generate some prompts and see how it goes. Let's start with a nature shot by asking for a prompt of a waterfall in a tropical rainforest to create an image with a natural and scenic theme. Because this is the first prompt where we want to include camera settings, we'll request that as well. As you can see, Bing combines the detailed description of the scene like we were previously receiving, but now it adds, the camera settings that it identified as the best for this type of shot. We can now copy the prompt and paste it into Discord to generate some results. As an added bonus, Bing will provide prompt illumination settings for the scene, which, like everything else it generates, you can modify to suit your needs. Let's take a look at the images that Midjourney created. All four images look good, it's like you can tell by looking at them that it's a hot and humid part of the rainforest where the photo was captured just after a rain shower. But if I was to pick the best one, it would be the second image. Let's upscale it for a closer look. That's exactly what I was hoping for. This image gets 5 out of 5 stars from me. Let's look at another example. Bing, in my previous experience, can generate prompts for mid-journey that provide amazing images of people, so let's ask it for a portrait of a woman with green eyes and long dark curly hair. As previously stated, because Bing is an advanced chatbot, it understands the context of what you are writing, so there is no need to ask it to create details of camera settings in the prompt this time, it already knows that this is what you expect. Let's see what we get out of this one. I have high hopes here because I've had spectacular results with portraits in the past. We will look for realism in the images and see how many of the details requested Midjourney got right. In terms of photorealism, I don't think there is much to complain about, but some of the details are either incorrect, missing, or just not showing. For example, only one model is wearing a white blouse. In image number 3, the model does not have green eyes, and only in images 1 and 3 do they have a necklace. However, I still think the images are awesome. I will upscale image number 3 as I think it's the one that turned out the best due to the model's expression, but all four images get at least four stars in my book. Let's try another one, but this time we will ask Bing for a prompt of a penguin sliding on the ice to create images with an animal and wildlife theme. This is more of an action shot because we requested an image of an animal doing something. I've had decent results in the past, so we'll see how this one turns out. I believe that what is important here is not only to have a photorealistic image of the animal, but also to see if it is performing the action that you requested. So, how do the results look? Well, they're decent in terms of realism, but when it comes to the action requested of the penguin sliding on the ice, I believe the results are not what we were looking for. Perhaps the closest image is number 3, while the others appear to show the penguin sliding on the water, which is quite strange. You could try again with the same prompt by pressing the reload button, which sometimes produces better results. As you can see, on a second attempt I made later with the same prompt, the results were better. This however demonstrates that there is still room for improvement, maybe Midjourney V6 will be more accurate in this area. Let's try a final Bing chat prompt by asking for a 1950s classic shiny red car to create an image with an object and material theme. Again it will be the photorealism of what Midjourney creates to be the main focus of this image. I expect a car with a great candy red color and plenty of chrome parts. We will do the usual copy-paste here to start generating. That's a lot better. Yes, it's a still object, but the color pops, the chrome is everywhere, and the lighting is perfect. Looking closer, I can't decide which one I like best. But I'll go with image number 3. That was a good choice but the other images are all great too. Look at the reflections on the paint and chrome, as well as how the sun shines on the car, creating beautiful shadows.
I hope you learned something new and useful about how to use Bing Chat's capabilities in conjunction with Midjourney V5 to generate great images. Please share your experiences with these suggestions, as well as the results you obtained from them, in the comments section of the video. This technology is constantly evolving, and as I was editing this video, Microsoft upgraded Bing Chat so that it can now generate images of its own. I ran some tests, and as you can see, when I used the same prompt as before to create a portrait of a woman, these are the results. They're not the best looking images, but the bot was surprisingly accurate in terms of creating what was requested, such as the white blouse and silver necklace, which appear in all four images. Then I tried that tricky penguin sliding on ice, and these images actually look good, doing better than mid-journey on this one, in my opinion. But that is something we can go over in another video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you in the next one.